Hello there, it's the Easy Engineering once again, and today's topic is the second law of thermodynamics. This topic has made most of the engineering students confused, so for this discussion, we will make it as easier as possible. So the major statements of the second law of thermodynamics are the following. First is a closed statement that says, it is impossible for any statement to operate in such a way that the sole result would be an energy transfer by heat from a cooler to a hotter body. Second is Kelvin Planck's statement. It is impossible for any system to operate in a thermodynamic cycle and deliver a net amount of energy by work to its surroundings while receiving energy by heat transfer from a single reservoir. Third statement is the entropy statement. It is impossible for any system to operate in a way that entropy is destroyed. So to make it easy, we made two easier statements that would help us more in understanding this law. So first is, well let's call this as high to low. For any process, a natural flow will always be from higher energy value to lower energy value. For example, coffee. The temperature of coffee is higher than its cup and as what it says, from higher energy value. So the temperature of coffee gets transferred to the cup which is cooler, lower energy value. And that's why the cup gets hotter. Or try a compressed gas in a balloon. If you open a small hole in a balloon, does the outside air enters the balloon? No, instead, the gas in the balloon goes outside transfers its pressure to the outside air because the gas in balloon has higher pressure than the outside air. A tank full of water connected to an empty tank with a valve in the middle. Now open the valve and what happens? The full tank level is lowered transferring its level to the empty tank. How about the topics being discussed in your classroom? The transfer of ideas comes from the professor which has more ideas to its students which has lower ideas. Or even think of the salary from employer to employee. True, right? So now, let's move to the second one. Let's call this as perfect is impossible. For every real world process, there will always be losses. That means you cannot convert all of your car's fuel into mechanical energy which can rotate your car's wheels. Proof? It's the gases you see on the car's muffler. Or try bouncing a ball by first throwing it up to the air. See that as the number of bounces increases, the level of bounce decreases because of the loss of energy which is transferred to the ground. How about our foods? That is our source of energy. We can see the losses through our sweat, urine, and solid waste. So that's it. I hope we made it easier for you. Before this video ends, we would like to make a note that second law of thermodynamics is a law and it is applicable to everything in our world. I hope this changes your perspective on this law and if you have comments or you want to correct us, please comment below. We would love to listen. Thank you for watching and see you again for our other easy and fun engineering topics. Is engineering? Engineering topics made easy and fun for you.